I've got a quick five minute trading update for you today where I'll go over the next trades, the technical analysis and all the levels you need to be aware of. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one and let's get to work. So uh, the next levels that you can see on the chart, I've already got marked out for you. We've got a little bit, a bit of a blue Peter Art show, right? I've, I've done the hard work and here is the levels in front of you. So we've got an NPOC right below us here, which sits on our current range value area low. Okay, and the range I'm looking at is from the start of the 24th of July to current time. Okay, we can see the value area low sat on this NPOC. I've already explained to my team today in a daily morning live stream update. This level is a level, but it's not that interesting for me because we don't have any major liquidity here. So that's just something to be aware of uh, when we start to look at things such as context. The context for me, yes, we do have two levels of confluence, but for me, I like to see some liquidity sat on those levels to execute the trade. Nevertheless, it is a level, but for me, it's not a strong level. So that NPOC, I'm currently going to be removing, and I'm saying I'm more got my eyes drawn towards the overall low of this range, right? Which we're just going to currently label key. Uh, where at if, okay, this is of course an if statement, but if we come down to this level, it's where I'll be looking for, have a guess, a swing failure pattern, an SFP, short for swing failure pattern, or the failed auction. If we don't get this, that's where I'm looking for the big drop down to around $27,000, $26,000. Okay, so a large drop if we don't get any bullish reaction off of that low. Of course, I've said that's an if statement because there is no guarantee we come down to that low. Why? Because of what happened yesterday. Yesterday did mark the start of the World Series of Trading. Uh, and we actually ended it with a internal swing failure pattern and that was off of this low. So as you know from the last video that I've made, I've been talking about it, you know, I've been bearish looking for lower prices, right? And over the course of that time, we have come down, we have come down and we have come down. And yesterday we made another new low. And what did it end in? Well, it's like I've been telling my team, remaining short for the bearish bias, but we did get an internal swing failure pattern. This naturally does provide a long trade opportunity. Why? See a swing failure pattern, take a swing failure pattern. On this candle, you actually as well had over, just over 7 million new shorts opening. So this then you know, comes into the context of trap shorts down and around the low. Okay. On top of that, you know, it has that then potential for the short squeeze off of those trap shorts. So this was a thing that we hadn't seen before when we're coming down to those lows with lots and lots and lots. We're talking about 7 million new shorts opening down into the low on the swing failure pattern. Okay. The candle prior on the 30 minute chart. After this, you start to get a short squeeze occur, right? Swing failure pattern. You got a little bit of a rise to the upside. You know, we're still going back up for that high. And then we have come up to where we were this morning, right? And that is after that swing failure pattern, a full blown reversal of this range back up to that mini range high. Uh, that's where I've been explaining to my team in the live stream today. Of course, in a little bit more detail, but nevertheless, that's basically what we've been covering. Uh, and then the setups that I'm looking at next would be, as mentioned earlier to you, that SFP of the low. And if we don't get that down to $26,000, again, I just want to emphasize there's no guarantee that we come down to this low. But if we do, that's the setup that I'll be looking for. I know some people are going to be saying, Daniel, so you're saying the market can go up or the market can go down. Yes, that is absolutely what I'm saying. The market can go up and the market can go down. It's a professional trader that's only job is to extract profits from this market I to make profits do not need to know where the market's going next I need to know if the market drops where am I looking for a long and if the market rises where I'm looking for a short trade I know I'm interested in a long if we come down to here and form a swing value pattern or a failed auction and I know if we don't get that reaction I'll continue looking for a much much larger drop to the downside and I know if the market rises where I'll be looking for my next trade and yes we do have an internal trade set up there around 29,500 which is valid but I'm really looking I would like to see just this above 30,000 to 30,500 this is where we got this really big resistance zone and then that's once again, where I'll look for price to come into here. I'll start to look at the order flow, start to see if I can recognize any trap longs, bearish divergences forming, you know, all the things that we look at every day on the order flow. That's what I'm going to start to be monitoring if, again, we approach that level. Why? Because there's no guarantee we come up to $30,000. All I know is current price here, not interested in a trade. I will remain patient for now a lower swing failure pattern, just like we saw yesterday. And this, I want to emphasize, was a absolutely valid long trade. This valid long trade, though, will have hit your take profit one target as you actually come up and have just taken this last high before the drop. So if you trade swing failure patterns with us, you know, swing failure pattern 2.0, you will have locked in 
the take profit one off of that theory that I've taught you. So for me, now it's a little bit of a waiting game and that is a waiting for the next trade setup. Um, which would obviously stop out this long if we get the drop, which is fine. <laughs> but I'd look for another swing for a pattern of this loan or a failed auction. Don't get that. Look towards twenty seven, twenty six thousand dollars If we get the rise, yeah, there are a few internal levels. But the bigger level that I'd be looking for is this just above $30,000 into our massive resistance zone, where if and when we hit that, I'm going to start monitoring the order flow. I'm going to see if we get any trap traders. I'm going to start seeing if we get liquidations up into this high or alternatively, if we, alternatively, we get strength through that level. And if we do get strength through that level, that's where I'm looking for above $32,000. So I've got two key zones, a key support, which if lost, very large drop to the downside. Key resistance zone, which if reclaimed as support, very large rise to the upside. Here internally, there are a few minor levels, the value area low, the high here on that range value area high. Let me pull it for you once more, which are for more scalp day trader trades rather than what I'm more focused on as swing trading. That said, as I've been telling my team as well today, the World Series of Trading started less than 24 hours ago. This does mean we can see an increase in volatility, not only on Bitcoin, but on the altcoins too. Uh, so be uh, paying attention to that. Uh, we're currently ranked 19th. Of course, we're going to aim to go up this leaderboard as time goes on. Uh, yeah, less than 24 hours into a <laughs> long competition, right? So slow and steady. Uh, if you do want to join the team, the team is still actually open to be joined uh, for the next few days. I think you've got another, I think it's five days, potentially up to seven days to join the team still uh, before like it's, it's locked out and nobody else can join. So if you'd like to join the Chart Champions team for this competition, I'll leave the link in the description down below. More than welcome to join. It's up to you. Um, all I will say is I would uh, would sell you this now. You know, don't start using crazy high leverage. Don't try and, uh, you know, do trades that you wouldn't normally do. You know, remain patient. Keep the leverage low. Okay, Follow the rules that we teach, that's steady, slow trading right, build up the capital slowly over time. Uh, don't go out in here and try and start doing some crazy trades just because it's a competition. Nope, trade normal. Uh, you know, we're aiming for positive results. And, uh, you know, that generally does take time, right? So, um, yeah, the competition is active, but, you know, let's remain level-headed and calm. We know the levels now. We know what we're looking for next. And again, I will say, I do not mind if the market rises or the market drops. I'm able to extract profits from this market, whatever happens next. That is the mindset of a professional trader that doesn't care for the asset, that only cares for profits. And truly, if you are a trader, that should be your mindset. That should be the goal to profit on this market. Take your money, put it into your bank account, look for another trade setup, make money on the make money on the trade, extract it, put it into your bank account. You know, if this is your full time job, if this is your living, that's the goal. That's what you've got to be doing. OK, don't get wrapped into this environment of thinking, putting anything on a pedestal, getting profits, not wanting to take them. Then suddenly you get a reversal and those profits turn to losses. Let's come into this market. Let's mark out our levels. Let's remain focused on the goal, which is to profit on this market. Once we got some profits, let's hit that take profit one. Let's move that stop loss up to entry to protect the further off that trade and then remain patient for the next trade setup, be it a drop, be it a rise. It's absolutely fine whatever happens next. We just know we will remain focused when that next level gets hit to come over and unbiasedly look at the order flow, look at what's going on here. As you see yesterday, as you start to come down here, that is a 7.6 million plus delta volume candle. Okay, so you can see on very high volume up against recent times. That's a high volume, 7.6 million positive delta. That gave us some liquidations too. Okay, this is a leaving us with, you know, you're starting to come down into this territory of uh, trapped short, sorry, the minus 7.6 million delta. You can actually see even harder to see on this screen, but you might be able to see there is a negative symbol just before that. So you had negative 7.6 million delta, which is, of course, your trap shorts as you're coming down into that swing failure pattern. Then you get your buy and balances out of that. And, uh, you know, this is where we start to get the short squeeze. And we'll just show you this one more time here because it's a little bit easier to view on this screen. OK, and it's much easier to view, actually. <laughs> here you can see very clear as day negative symbol 7.6 million. OK, and that was just prior to that short squeeze that happened. So. 
uh, yeah, that was the, you know, bit of the order flow behind that swing photo pattern here. Anyway, this is just a quick five minute update. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, as always, if you have, you can leave a comment down below, hit the like button. I actually read every single comment that uh, comes in. So uh, yeah, I will give a like to your comment as I read it. Uh, and I just want to say, I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day and week ahead. Um, if you want to see more from myself and the team, of course, we got daily morning live stream updates similar to this, but we do go into more uh, detail. Of course, they're much longer. Well, much longer isn't is actually a lie. They, they last around 15 minutes every day. Uh, but we got daily morning live stream updates. And of course, uh, you know, if you want to learn the strategies, if you want to, you know, get in on the live trading streams that we have, we have the theory, we have the daily morning updates, we have uh, live trading streams dedicated altcoin streams, everything basically to uh, get you up to speed to being a good trader. So if that's of interest to you, you can check us out at chartchampions.com. I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm going to say thank you ever so much. hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed this one and uh, on to the next. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.